Hi, Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're on to our next viewer request. The storm is passing over, and the request is to put the key in D flat C sharp. Let's get after it. Our scales, which are very important, because for on them we find our melody and our chords. All right, now this song is going to have a lot of the Nashville number system chords in them. I always want to give you this exercise to practice, not only to train your muscle memory in your hand, but your ears to hear the chords. Now, this song, as I say, is really based off of, oh, four chords, basically. Now, melody-wise, in... Very basic. And I am far from home. I'm trying to remember the lyrics. Thank thee to God. The morning light appeared. And we'll stop right there. So now, bass chords that I would give from a training standpoint would, again, follow the very root chords. Melody, melody on top and the chords on the bottom, because we've changed the, the normal pitch that this uh, song was written in. So your first chord will be right here. A D flat major, excuse me, C sharp. Put it in the C sharp mode. To an F sharp. Back to the C sharp. And this will ride above, or rather beneath the melody. Just those two chords. Continue. Back to the four or the F sharp. Back to the, the one, which is the D <laughs> C sharp. <laughs> Gotta keep thinking C sharp. Now to the five, which is a A, a sharp. G sharp. Wow, I gotta take this thing out of C. I got. I've got to get my mind uh, set for doing sharps and not flats. Back to the F sharp. Back to the C sharp. So there are your first four chords. Or three chords. Those chords will get you through the first part of the song from a. A lesson format. Now, of course, I teach the bounce. A little bit of a. Bum. That's how you be can take a song like this and put a little musical, uh, rhythmic um, connotation to it, if, if that is the correct word. going to go to the four, which is the G sharp. Back to the four, the F sharp. Now you saw me throw that seventh in there on the four, because that's that uh, gospel sound. Could be a seventh, or could be a minor six. Or this one. Now you see my hands are resting in this one patch here. I can easily go outside. This is 
just a matter of how you want to support the melody. Now, if you're, if you're supporting three-part harmony, you can go outside. If, you, if you're supporting unison, you can still go outside of this range, just inverting it up or going halfway up. Put your voicing if you wanted to, you know, take you out of the bottom down here for the key of D flat. So that'll get you through this part of the song. Now, the, now the when you get to the part where the where the storm is, is passing over, you want to turn on the five or the G sharp. The storm is passing over. Now minor, major. Minor, a minor six. There we go. A seventh. Walk up. Over. All right. Now I'm going to give you this this turn to the four, and then back to the one. Is your turn. The storm is passing over. Think E, e minor. D sharp minor. A, A sharp minor. A sharp. I'm used to saying B flat so much. D sharp minor. F sharp minor six. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to D-flat. The storm is passing over Harley. Put that seventh in there. That gets you through that part of the song. Now, the scale. Harley. Go to the one. To the seven. The six. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Different change. Just that easy. Single note. And make it any easier than that. You have to build off the melody and you will find the chords are right there. Now we haven't gone crazy yet putting in any um, any um, um, diminished chords. We just kept seventh chords in there. Diminish. That's your that's your gospel turn. All right, this should get you through the song with no problem. Again, please consider subs. Uh, subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so yet give us that like that pushes us up in the youtube algorithm and leave a comment if you like these kind of videos on to the next viewer request